So I already went ahead and removed the membrane off the back of this. Just need a little mustard on here. And we're going to use Cosmos Dry Rub Dirty Bird. Pat that in real good. And I'm going to be working on getting that to drop. Uh, that's starting to drop a little bit. I want to keep it closer to 200 during this cook. And uh, that's the go. We're using the Weber Smoky Mountain today. Got my water in the pan. Uh, so let me go ahead and get those ribs. And let's put them on here and get them cooking. It's um, 2.50. They'll be on, right, we'll just call it 3 o'clock. This thing may not get done till 8 or 9 tonight. Uh, so, here we go. So I got that dirty rub right over the uh, top and bottom of the meat there. And we got the meat side up. Just looks beautiful, don't it? Showing around 225. Um, that's probably going to climb since I put that lid back on. I'm going to be working on controlling that down just a little bit. So my dampers, they're all about a quarter. I'm going to go ahead and close one of them completely and see what that does. Also didn't add any chips yet, so we're going to do that. Add some hickory. I like hickory. I use hickory quite a bit on my cooks. So I'll be back in a minute and see if we get this uh, temperature to go down just a little bit. So it has been three hours, actually just a little bit over three hours. The temperature has been holding uh, really, really right around 210, 225. It's went under 200 a time or two, but uh, it took about an hour for it to really kind of slow down to where I wanted it. And that's kind of how I like it. So I have not peaked. I have not looked uh, since we've been on video. And this is the first look I've taken at it. I didn't want to look at it. And man, a little bit foggy on the lens there from that heat. Back off. There we go. And you can just see that does look gorgeous. So three hours. And now we're going to go ahead and wrap it. I got some butcher paper I'm going to wrap it in and we're going to throw it back on. But man, I got to tell you, it just looks like that juice is right there, right there. And oh boy, let me go ahead and take this in. Let's wrap it up, throw it back on. So there we go, we got it rolled up. And this butcher paper I got, I got this at Sam's Club a long time ago. And it's lasted me a long time because I got a real big roll, but I'm gonna have to start looking for another one. 
and I'm not sure they still have it, uh, but that's where I got it, and I just love it. I've always uh, used it instead of tin foil. I use tin foil sometimes, but it it just is something that I've gotten used to. So there we go. We're on the next phase. It is 615. So this started about three. We're at 615 now. We're going to go eh, to about eight or so, and then we're going to go ahead and unwrap it. Put a little barbecue sauce on it. Throw it back on for a little while. 30 minutes to an hour. They look good. So stick around. Let's see how they come out. So it's gotten dark now. I don't know how well this is going to look. Hopefully it looks good, but it's almost 8 15 in the evening another two hours has gone by and we've had them wrapped i haven't unwrapped them yet and we're going to go ahead and wrap these ribs now and see if we can't cook them just a little longer put a little barbecue sauce on them right there it is and i'm going to be doing some of this a sweet habanero from a mile high barbecue we're going to go ahead and put some of this right on here let's go ahead and put a a nice amount just rub that in with this brush I'm gonna do it on this side as well let's go ahead and flip it back all right hmm starting to break right there so i'm going to let them cook that final hour i don't know if i go the full hour right now we're at eight hours and 15 minutes at nine o'clock it's going to be six hours uh, so i'm going to go for about nine right around there and we're going to see how these ribs are stick around let's see it is now nine o'clock in the evening actually just a few minutes past Trying to keep that steam from hitting that lens there, but you can see, wow, that just looks amazing. The barbecue sauce we put in, you can still see a little bit right there, but for the most part has cooked inward. So we are done with these ribs and uncut. We're going to see whether or not these pull from the bone or don't pull from the bone. Either way, they're going to be great. And I'm not real sure what we're going to get here. So first, let me just go ahead and do a little bend test. Okay. Let me see. The bone pulls off pretty nicely. Tastes good. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Tastes really good. Oh my God. Sweet. Well, Baby. it don't quite pull oh. off the bone, mm -hmm. but you don't need a knife. Delicious. You can pull the bones apart. Yeah. I'm going to cut it. You going to cut one? Yeah, so I can get a perfect cut. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's good. <laughs> that's so good. It has like yeah. kick to it. It has a little subtle sweetness to mm. it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. That's good. With that mile high guy barbecue sweet habanero sauce. With that dirty bird dry rub from Cosmos. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's one of the best barbecue uh, ribs pork ribs I've made that is got some flavor bomb right there uh -huh. Wow it is good that that little bit of honey add a little honey to it yep I could tell it added some tenderness to it mm. added the sweet to it with the kick it it's a really good flavor combination yeah it has a lot of spice oh, in it well if you like this kind of stuff be sure and subscribe for some more outdoor cooking here on the Oki Smoking channel, I'm just going to keep. Wow. That is good.